Chapter on what has been related about the virtue of the garrisons. Sahel bin Sa'ad narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Rebaq, guarding the frontier for a day in the cause of Allah, is better than the world and what is in it. And an afternoon the worshipper spends in the cause of Allah, or a morning, is better than the world and what is on it. And the space occupied by the whip of one of you in paradise is better than the world and what is on it. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments See comments under chapter 17. Muhammad bin al-Munkadir said, Salman al-Farisi passed by Shurahbil bin al-Samit while he was in a garrison in which he and his companions were suffering from difficulties. He said to him, Shall I narrate to you, O Ibn al-Simt, a hadith I heard from the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him? He said, Of course. He said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saying, Ribaq, guarding the frontier for a day in the cause of Allah, is more virtuous, and perhaps, he said, better than fasting a month and standing in prayer for it. And whoever dies in it, he is protected from the trials of the grave, and his deeds are continuously multiplied until the day of resurrection. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments See comments under chapter 2. Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever meets Allah without any traces from jihad, he meets Allah with a defect. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Whoever is ordered by the Muslim ruler to take part in jihad for the cause of Allah but makes no preparation himself for it or avoids making any kind of physical or financial sacrifice for it, nor does he soil his body in it, shall certainly find himself deprived of all the blessings and benefits promised for those who lay down their lives in the cause of Allah. Abu Salih, the freed slave of Uthman said, I heard Uthman while on the minbar saying, I did not inform you about a hadith I heard from the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, out of dismay that you might part from me. Then it occurred to me that I should narrate it to you so that one may himself choose from these matters accordingly. I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saying, Rebaq, guarding the frontier for a day in Allah's cause is better in status than a thousand days doing other than that. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Since those were the days when people's eagerness for the doing of virtuous deeds was at its peak, it happened sometimes that the tidings of acts attracting abundant rewards from Allah were kept from them, lest they should leave the capital city of al Medina en masse in pursuit of those acts, thus creating problems for the administration of the city or state. But once the conditions changed, they were told of those matters in order to be clear of the blame of hiding a piece of information about their own religion. Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The martyr does not sense the touch of death except as one of you senses the touch of a bug bite. This hadith is graded da'if or weak. Comments Whoever goes to the battlefield with purity of intention, and a fondness for fighting in Allah's cause, Allah fills his heart with such a burning desire for martyrdom that he feels neither fatigue nor pain and is able to wage the war with full peace of mind and achieve the goal of attaining martyrdom. Abu Umama narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, There is nothing more beloved to Allah than two drops and two traces, a teardrop shed out of fear of Allah and a drop of blood shed in Allah's cause. As for the two traces, a trace resulting in Allah's cause and a trace resulting from one of the duties that Allah made obligatory. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Footnote Regarding the statement, a trace resulting in Allah's cause, examples are footsteps or becoming dusty or being injured in jihad or other barriers from seeking knowledge.
تحفات الأحواضي